Hey guys, today's map is different. Mapping who the countries support among those located in the Middle East. I don't East. touch that shit. As the Middle East, I've taken the countries of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, hey, Qatar, right Bahrain, way, Kuwait, Jordan, Palestine, hey, roll, Israel, Israel Syria, Turkey, Iraq, and Iran. Watch the video to the end and help the channel with your subscriptions, likes, and shares. Let's go. Hey guys. First video of the year. Some bust. Thanks for the great year we've had together. The channel managed Use to hit the 10,000 subscribers mark. Today's video is a mapping of who the countries support, Greece or Turkey. Watch the video to the end and comment with your opinion. I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. Opinions are free, which is why we're here. It's news and talk that our sponsors agree on. WCTR. CTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they and why should we care? The FDA warned shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug strain, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian monsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line, Richard. interaction you have with the local is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. People like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. When people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent turlet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And a stripper's? Overcharge. Good lord, you're full of style. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Ventura's that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I'm well, a delegation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One! Come on! Call up! Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. With my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my job and three parts. It all went wrong. He's become a drunk. And he has a sudden problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with the money. Huh? Only when you're alone. When he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Come on, Mary. I'm watching you right now. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Ryan from Las Venturas. Hey, dude. Ryan from Las Venturas. Why did men turn on here? Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in the room, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting in my lap. Anyway, 
What's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Burden Bluff. Loathsome place. I'd jump in. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. A kingdom. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. A friend girl took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page. Vrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something. But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Police and even the newspapers. Then I burned down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Ah, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? All the news the government wants you to hear. WCTR. Let's be honest about things for a second. Really honest. You came out to the West Coast to get away from something. Everyone does. Let's face it, the Midwest is full of retards. That's why we've got the fastest growing population, a massive economy, and absolutely no history or culture. You used to be a dork, but you moved here. And suddenly you're cool. San Andreas is the land where you can be who you want to be. Change your name. Come out. Fly about your age. Form your own religion. Call yourself an actor with wait tables. It just doesn't matter out here. Everybody's at it. Until the awful moment old friends or family we come to visit. Janice understands. Maybe it's time to change your identity. Don't let bad memories blow your cover. We'll teach you all the things you need to alienate your family quick. They'll never think of visiting you again. Select from a list of weird religions that involve burning things, singing children's songs backward, and loads of television... You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boy. Well, what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Scoochy Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Easton, and this has been... to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forge, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool, a sickening shortage, and shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. Plus, the Epsilon Trap, a psychotic underground power-hungry cult running the government and buying it, or an idea whose time has come. The WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, Kid. My mother told me to be good, or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying thing along.